Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm I'm good. What about you? I'm good too. <laughs> so Adrija. It's a very unusual yes. name. It's a very unusual name. Mm, yes. What does it mean? Um, it means goddess Durga. Oh wow, that's great. <laughs> so very uh, inspiring name you have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, where are you from? I'm from West Bengal. Okay. okay. What about you? Where are you from? I'm from Kerala. Okay. What part of Kerala? Trishur. You know Kerala? Yes, I have. I went to Kerala when I was really young. Um, but I love the backwaters a lot. Okay. I have to say. And then I also, uh, I also visited a houseboat. Like I stayed there for one night. I remember. Um, but I don't really remember that vivid details because I have forgotten about it as I was like maybe five years old. Oh, so, very. Yeah, but I still remember that we ate crab and then uh -huh. just. It was really a memorable experience. Have you ever visited West Bengal? Um, Calcutta once. Oh, okay. <laughs> How did you like Calcutta? Calcutta is busy and hot, crowded. I got yes. there to give an exam actually. So we were just oh. there for two days. Otherwise, I have not visited West Bengal. Okay. But then I grew up in Ranchi. So I have a lot of uh, Bengali friends. And Ranchi has a big influence of West Bengal. Mm. Yeah, so I'm very well versed with the culture and the food and the language, Bengali okay. language. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you do, Vita? I am a student. Okay, what do you, what are you study? Um, I study in class eight, um, mm -hmm. but I like my exams just finished and I'm going to be promoted to class nine like in one week. Okay, okay. So what do you plan to do after your 10th? Um, I take science after my 10th, of course. 11, 12, I start study science. But after that, in college, I will think like in which line I would go, whether in the medical line or research line or anything. I think about that later. But okay. in 11th, I'm going to take science. Science, okay, that's fine. That's enough as a goal because you need, yeah. need not be too long off, long way off. No, it's okay. You have decided that you'll take science, that's good enough. Hmm. You don't, don't want to become an engineer, a doctor, or something like that? I'm not really any specific goal. So, <clears throat> what about your uh, siblings? How many siblings do you have? I don't have any siblings. I am an only child. So, you wish that you had some siblings, or you're happy as an only child? Um, I think I'm happy because I have my friends. I also have cousins who are like my siblings only. So I just don't, I don't think I lack anything that uh, I think I would have it as, as if I had a sibling. But um, yes, I do feel lonely sometimes, especially during this lockdown. Like I couldn't even feed them. So yes, I used to feel a little bit lonely sometimes, but still it's okay. Uh, yeah. And what about your parents? What do they do? Uh, my parents are business. They work in business. Both, Both of them. them. Okay. Yes. So they must be busy all the time, huh? Yes, they are. Hmm. You have so many things to occupy yourself with. Yes. I do have a lot of uh, hobbies, you know. Mm -hmm. I would not say Yes, um, I love to sing songs, listen to music, and then um, I love to talk a lot. Okay. <laughs> and then <laughs> I love to do art and arts and different types of crafts. And right. then read novels. Okay. And Yes, and there are a lot of things. Okay, so tell me what uh, what is your favorite book? What kind of novels do you read? Um, I would, I can tell the genre, but I cannot tell the like the one particular book because I have read many and I cannot really choose one book, you know, from them. So my favorite genre would be adventure mystery, adventure or mystery. And okay. I, yes, I also do love comedy, romance, and others. But yes, these two, adventure and mystery, are like my favorite. Okay, so adventure and mystery means. Um, tell me one book you read in adventure and mystery. Um, in mystery, you know, we have uh, Agatha Christie's books or Sherlock Holmes or okay. something like that. Oh, okay. They are pretty nice. Okay, you're fine. That's good. Uh, have you read P.G. Wodehouse? Yes. P.G. Wodehouse. No, I haven't. Okay, try reading. 
it's, sure, sure. It's Thank very, you for the uh, recommendation. Yes, it's very uh, hilarious, I should say. Oh, okay. Yeah, you must read P.G. Wodehouse. Okay, okay. who's it? It is like who is the author? Author is P.G. Wodehouse. He has a series. Oh, then. Oh, okay. Then uh, just name one of his books so I can like read it. Uh, he's got um, it's a series kind of okay, like. Uh, uh, just uh, type P G Wodehouse W O D E H O U S C. Okay, okay. Okay. Sure. There's Thank you so much. Uh, so what are your uh, hobbies? Reading. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, which and novels? Do you read novels? Yes, I do. I do. Yes, which genre? Um, all actually. I read all. Yeah. Uh, my my current favorite is Judy Judy Picot. Okay. Yeah, you. I don't know if you read any of her books. I have heard her name, but I haven't read any of the books. Huh. Uh, have you read uh, Chitra Banerjee Diva Karani? No. No, you must. Okay, okay, sure. Maybe, uh, maybe you are a little young for that. Maybe or, I don't know. You can try. Sure. Okay? She is another one of my favorite authors. Okay. Yeah. So, do you read them in English or some other language? No, 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 English. She's an English author. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I also do love reading in English. Like my yeah. mother tongue is Bengali. I do sometimes read Bengali, but I like it as English much more. Ah, okay. So you know how to read and write in Bengali? Yes, it is my mother tongue. Yeah. Okay. Ha, huh, and you grew up there, so. Yeah. Yes. So you don't have an accent and you're pretty good uh, in speaking English. So then why did you uh, choose to come to Clappingo? Um, I, I just wanted to talk with someone, like converse with people, you know, because I was feeling pretty bored during this lockdown. And I yeah. thought I should like maybe converse with someone just to, you know, lighten my mood. So, hmm. yes, that is why. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's a good idea. And anyway, when you talk to people, you will always get something from them, no? Yes. and you something. know there is no level of improvement like you can improve yourself all the time, all the time. you yes. cannot yes. always be perfect yes true true so this is a good platform for interaction no? yes of course i yeah. am loving it i'm extremely <laughs> loving it <laughs> and uh, how many classes have you taken till now uh, this is session 21 or 22 oh, I, wow. <laughs> I like that <laughs> So you must have spoken to all the all the tutors. Most of them, yes. <laughs> so tell me something about your childhood. You saw the. You would have you would have uh, spoken about your childhood before also. Yes, yes. There was a session note about childhood. I remember. Okay. So yeah, okay. my childhood was pretty nice. I'd say because right now I'm. Of, if you want to speak of something else, you can. Um, it's okay. If you want to speak about childhood, then I can. No problem. It's, uh, it's you who has to speak. So, you know, you can. Uh, okay. Tell me uh, one of your, uh, tell me about one of your favorite movies. Uh, you my favorite movie? movie. I do watch movies, but I don't have any like really favorite movies of mine. But yes, I do have some in my like, Yes, there are some in my bucket list too, but I haven't watched them. So I didn't consider them as my favorite. But yes, I just saw a movie, uh, I think before a pretty long time. Uh, it was known as Soul. So I just really loved it a lot. Soul? Yes. So you were? Yes, yes. Oh, I haven't watched that. You should. You know, it's an English yes. animated movie, but it just doesn't feel like it's a kid's movie. It's really oh, okay. such a beautiful movie. Okay, okay, that's nice. But I will definitely watch this. Okay, yeah. Yes. I and love what about movies. you? What are your favorite movies? Um, let's say uh, English. You mean? Okay. Yes. Uh, I I watched a movie called Ghost when I was of your age. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it was very very. I loved it actually. And also, it it uh, it um, you know affected me in a very. It was very. I don't. Know, maybe it, I was at that very impressionable age. So mm -hmm. you know, yeah. It's a have you watched the movie? No. Is it a horror movie? Oh no, no, it's not a horror movie. It's a uh, romantic movie actually. Oh okay. That is a beautiful movie. 
you must watch it it's a classic you must watch sure. it it's very nice and i think i was i don't know maybe i was in 11th or 12th not as young as you but 11th or 12th yeah. i just loved it so even now even now if that movie is playing i watch it <laughs> that's nice yeah so that is good there are many movies actually but the popular ones also like i i watch i watch like titanic i don't know how many times i watched it so many <laughs> times so Same. even even in hindi hindi also like it need not be a serious movie but it should be a well made movie that's all like jab we met hmm. i love that movie because it's so well made any time you watch it from any point tell me about your food um for me food is like just a basic need i just eat to live i have to okay. say this but yes sometimes i do love you know like some i do have some uh, weird cravings that i have to eat this or that but i don't really have that often like as much my age like kids of my age do like all of my friends love to eat like they all love to eat a lot but that's not like my me i don't really love to eat that much but still you know these indian foods like south indian foods especially like idlis dosas i really love them a lot and then if i talk about these uh, vegetarian dishes like paneer paneer is one of my favorites okay. and anything paneer like is really really good i can eat it any time okay that's nice <laughs> so uh, do you cook i cannot cook i can cook this little bit like tea and maybe sometimes i don't know i just don't cook a lot yeah. i cannot cook my mother cooks okay so it's okay you can always learn to you know learn the basics of mm. cooking so yes. that when you go to college you're not hungry i need it yeah i know at least some basics you can learn no mm. everybody should learn not just because you're a girl but because you can you will be staying alone for some time somewhere so you should learn to survive that's right yes yes of course yeah maybe an omelet or maybe some rice some dal some you know basic cooking Yes, some kichdi, yeah, that kind of a thing. Hmm, that's nice. Okay, so you do you want to start continue your studies? Uh, there, where are you? You are in Calcutta. No, I'm not in Calcutta. Calcutta is in the south of West Bengal. I live in the north, like where near to Darjeeling. Okay, where are you? Where is it, please? Um, it's it's really a small town. I don't think you would know the name. It's Raiganj. Raiganj. Okay. Uh, yes. It's near uh, Darjeeling. um i did not say uh, like not so near but still it's pretty near like from kolkata it's really far but from okay. darjeeling it's near oh okay so you are in the hills darjeeling is in the hills no, no? just like the hills stopped and then the plains started so that is where raiganj is okay okay so how is that place okay yes it's a really small town i have to say um but i love it over here cuz you know there is there are not so many it is not like uh, you know a city like, there is a chaos in the cities and i don't like chaos at all so okay. i think i would prefer small town if i would have to live there like permanently then i would prefer small town but still you don't get the services like you know ambulances hospitals emergencies over here so i think that time you know you would prefer big cities Yeah. but where i live you know there are not so many good hospitals but here is a town here is a city known as shiliguri that is like near to it i have to say so um it's pretty near so maybe you could go there to, for treatments and all how far? so i live in a good place how far is shiliguri from your place um 3 to 4 hours oh okay i have a friend in shiliguri that is why i asked oh <laughs> okay and she keeps telling me that you know darjeeling is nearby come here come here we'll go to darjeeling we'll see this place we'll have momos and mm. <laughs> darjeeling momos are really delicious yeah that's what she tells me so when she came down here we went to have have momos at a place she said yeah this is not even momos <laughs> you should come to darjeeling to have momos this is not momos she told me. you know so maybe i'll visit darjeeling one day Mm. you should it's a really beautiful place i personally loved it a lot like you know i have visited a lot of other mountain places but darjeeling was like something else it's just something else okay okay so maybe i will i also like to travel 
and i like though i am from kerala but i like mountains more than the beaches oh i'm i'm more of a mountain person mm. uh, you know? yeah so uh, i don't know i enjoy mountains beaches i'm not very fond of it's too sweaty and sticky uh, i don't like but mountains are nice and fresh so i like the mountains more mm. yeah so have you been to goa yes i have yeah okay so kerala is more like goa climate wise yes yes yeah so we were i i, uh, I presently i stay in bangalore oh okay for this so do you do anything in bangalore like except being a clapping go tutor yeah i teach in a college oh wow <laughs> i teach english literature so this i just do for the fun of it like you said to, to, hmm. to meet people hmm. to meet people and talk to people and take if it helps somebody it's good enough no? yes of course so, yeah so i do it for that not that any 